Okay, this video is about a uh, Firefox add-on called Fastest Search, and uh, you can search on add-on site for well the name Fastest Search. Um, it has many different features, and uh, I'm gonna talk about the latest features in version 1.6, which is actually just gonna be the third release, public release. Um, so it's called Find as you find uh, type. And so let's say you want to find drag and drop information. So you just type drag. And as you can see, it tells you how many uh, results you find. And the first one gets highlighted in pink. And all the other ones off the screen are yellowish. And if you go page down, as you can see, you, you scroll down, those in page will be highlighted in blue. And if you move your mouse over them, it actually tells you what those uh, the context of the search find and um, could be useful um, and more useful is that control shift F opens this options box and it allow you to match case match whole words and the very powerful regular expression is supported as well so I, I'm not I don't have time to de describe it but whenever you see a question mark blue question mark underlined it, you click on it it tells you what it is and uh, uh, how you can how you can use it and that's uh, pretty much uh, fine as you type uh, there are some options you can go to uh, you can blacklist a website like any email website you can enable the blacklist so uh, fine as you type don't go on there but you can also uncheck this so you don't uh, have fine as you type uh, I think default it wasn't checked and uh, you can also press Control alt f to turn Find As You Tap on and off easily and uh, also remember you can uh, once you do a search like anything and uh, if you want to get rid of those boxes and the highlight color and also this scroll bar press escape key and now I will move on to the instant search feature. So some uh, many of you know that Google Chrome has an instant feature where you start typing in the uh, in the tool uh, URL bar and the results just launch instantly. And that's what happens here too. So for example, if I want to say add on, and uh, it will also launch immediately. And uh, your most um, the your the top results in your search and uh, um, uh, in your history and bookmark will be launched uh, directly and if it's something that uh, that you you never been to and you see instantly the Google search result is loaded and you can actually go to the options and s check the instant settings you say if instant URL bar is checked then the instant feature is on you can also ch check many other things and you can even change the URL bar engine shortcut to some other engine some engine other than Google that's what Google Chrome cannot let you do and you can even change the settings of how fast the instant loading should be firing and so those who don't like instant they can try to adjust those and and and, and try to um, see if they like it and if they don't like it turn it off and uh, another thing I want to um, show is that uh, um, you can use shortcut for engines so for example like uh, by default many engines are actually included if you click on this search engines you can see many e search engines are included by default and uh, um, you can use those shortcuts and to to search those engines and the shortcuts are making all, all the sense I mean Amazon is a AccuWeather is AW, Bing is B, and, uh, and uh, Free Dictionary is D, and eBay is E, Flickr, yeah, so it's very easy. Uh, you can change them too. If you click Edit, you can change the shortcut to whatever you want. And you can use multiple categories too. You can say um, uh, Amazon actually belong to both shopping and books. So when you are searching category by category, you can actually slice and dice all your search engines into a uh, different specified search and the rank will determine which is the best engine being selected in uh, in some other feature I'm going to demo later and instant preview means that um, that 
when you are typing those engine shortcuts in the URL bar and search bar, will the re top result be instantly loaded or not? So let's say, for example, if you want to say um, Amazon Canon, you can see the um, there's a suggestion popping up, and the, you also uh, loads the top result instantly and that's because it's the instant setting is on you can turn all the engines instant setting on or you can do plus engine which is recommended or you can turn all the engines off if you want um, and uh, same thing it happens in here you can say Google finance uh, Google which is Google stock and it will instantly load load it for you and if you want you can do um, Google Finance and Yahoo Finance uh, again uh, you look at this and the instant load will only load in the current tab only uh, one of them but if you press return key you will load one in this tab and one in a new tab so you will see both engines loaded and if you really want uh, you can say um, something like uh, uh, general which is the general category uh, like Wikipedia and everything and you say I want to know music and you press that you can see Google is the top engine for general so it's loaded in the current tab it's sorted by the popularity uh, the ranking of your engines in, in uh, so you can see you search the Wikipedia, Baidu, uh, Music, um, uh, Yahoo, uh, yeah, Bing, and um, several other engines as well. So this uh, this help you a lot um, uh, for to do things quickly. And uh, another thing I want to show you is you can actually change it to a uh, preview. Say um, I want to do the text box preview uh, and also I want to do yes select search default preview so this what does this do this will actually for example if you do Google Finance and uh, you say I want to do S whatever S is and uh, you press return key it actually opens um, a preview panel and uh, right now it's a little off the screen I, I yeah I, I should have said it differently but uh, um, but basically this previous screen is very useful you can actually have multiple engines in in the preview panel and it's a multi tab panel it's very useful you can even change the size of the preview panel in here you can make it pretty big if you have dual screen you can have browsing in one screen and the the preview panel pops up in a, another screen that doesn't block your brow browsing screen so it's very convenient you can you can the bra the the preview panel is just not like your browser you can click around you can use it as a browsing way so that preview panel um uh, so that's that's about the preview panel i'll just show you a little bit more like if you want your local weather type aw and oh i just let me let me just show you uh, instead of doing this let me show you in a new tab that way you'll see it so if I do a W it will show you in the current tab and that shows my local weather how did I get this uh, Princeton um, simple you go to the search engines you go to this uh, uh, a W you add it you can see here there's a zip code change it to your local zip code then all you need to do is type the shortcut with a semicolon, the semicolon is magic. It's for fastest search. Um, so you do that, and you're you're there. So you type a you type a w you are there. And uh, um, another thing I want to show you is also for maps. This a special trick. Oh, actually, for another thing is that if you do uh, c, you can do three plus five. You do that. That's a calculator for you. And Ah, oh, I guess I didn't put in the C for this this uh, this engine. Yeah, but when you download it, you will actually have that C calculator engine. You can do the calculating. Uh, I didn't put in this installation. Um, okay, let me show you the maps. The Google Maps. You can do something like P 
Delta near my home. And here I just entered a Walmart address as my home address. So did you see the replacement? So it's instant loading of the Google map and also you, you have remembered map locations here. If you enter your map locations, you can get addresses really fast. For example, if you see an address on the website, you select it and see this fastest search will pop up this and you automatically determine the best engine for you and once you once you decide okay I want to get directions to here you just press semicolon it's always semicolon and see this red box it means it now is in the address mode if you type H and then whatever you stored in the map location that is, has H as the shortcut it will be um, the front address and this selected part will be the to address if you press return key see this is your home address become the front address and that address become the to address it give you the uh, uh, directions so what if you actually want to your home address to be the from address uh, the to address then all you need to do is just say to home and it's reversed now so that's uh, some things that uh, that helps so if you do gm say carnegie hall see this drop down suggestion will give you the google map suggestion too so and also one thing I want to show you is uh, basically you can actually do this kind of search in anywhere so it, let's say I want to search Wikipedia for classical music and I press tab key and then press return key and it opens classical music in uh, Wikipedia so fastest search lets you do it anywhere um, how do you add that uh, uh, shortcuts? How do you add the engine you want? Right click and choose create fastest search. And then you give it a category, give it a shortcut. It can be easier than that. Right click in the query box. What if we uh, right click there isn't, there isn't anything. Like for example, like this is a very nice financial site. You right click in the search box. There's nothing. There's no create fastest search because it's using a JavaScript to, to submit the form so in this case do this type in test key and that's special key that fastest search require you to do it press return or click on the search thing and the result page doesn't show you anything doesn't matter all we need is of all fastest search need is this URL here so now click the icon and say add engine for current page and you can see it will enter your URL directly for you and enter a query for you. Why don't you do a check now? Say uh, Google stock and press go. And you can see, hey, it gets Google correctly. Now all you need to do is enter a category or multiple categories and a shortcut. And also change the name to whatever you want and then say add it now. And then you get your engine in listed in this search engines what if you need your um, search bar engines imported that's also simple import search bar engines you can remove engines you don't want you can export selected engines or export all the engines to backup and you can import engines to 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 restore the backup and uh, so it has everything um let me think oh yeah in the edit again look for those uh, question mark and it will tell you what to do and uh, you can also change the uh, the icon if you want uh, but it's usually decided for you automatically